That is William Birkin. Chief Irons has been f***ed up. I can see you, William. Take you with me. You can try, you f***. What's wrong? A little bit of heartburn? You're gonna fall down that trapdoor and mutate, you f***. Yeah, split him in half, f*** him. I hope it hurt, you f***. That little thing that popped out of Irons is mutating into a f***. Beast. You're an ugly mother. Oh, you're kidding. These things are gonna kill me. Jumped inside me like he was Bill Cosby the. Oh, hello, big boy. Do you see it? It's right in there. It's right next to Sherry. I forgot you were down here, you big. What is going on YouTube Universe? This is Zira and welcome to Zira's Retro Rewind where we throw it back to the games of yesteryear and today we continue our journey all the way back on the PlayStation 1 deep within Raccoon City as our playthrough of Resident Evil 2 continues. Sit back, relax, it is game time. Now we are in the clock tower portion of the Raccoon City Police Department. At the end of the previous episode, I realized we didn't have the crank. So I went back and got the crank, but something a little bit different has gone down between episodes. And just to catch you up, as those of you that have been playing along will realize, um, I've got more ammo than I did at the last uh, point that we played this game. That's because my save file corrupted, and I had to start the game from the very fucking beginning, all the way from the start. So I was able to strategically use our ammo a bit better. I have the grenade launcher put away in storage, so I'm not tempted to use it again. We're gonna just continue our, our journey. We're gonna continue from here. Hopefully, this turn of events is a blessing. That's all we needed the crank for, so at least now we have an extra slot in our inventory slot. Thank you very much. Uh... Do I put the gear upstairs? And not remember. Yes, I do. Look at that. Like fucking magic. We already have the second half of that blue stone put away in storage. There is something that's going to try to mess with me when we go out here. There is a liquor still on the balcony. Oh, you bastard. Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked! Get fucking wrecked! I just need to remember which way we're going. Do we head to... I think we head to the, uh, the car park. The underground car park. Which would be... Out this way. I had to think for a second then. There are going to be some more liquors out here to cause me a little bit of grief, because I played... Dodge and Weave with them earlier. He's going to hit me, yep. Yeah, jump around all you want, dickhead. Back to the safe room, baby. Okay. Let's play around with what we have in storage. We have this part of the blue stone. That's going to give us the Jaguar stone, and then... We are going to make room for that stone and that stone. I'm just going to take them with us. You know what? We're going to put the machine gun away. Not only does that free up more inventory space for us, but I feel it's probably prudent to save that for boss battles later down the track. Especially with William Birkin rolling around this place. We've heard him a few times already. 
And I can't remember whether it's Claire A or Claire B um, being, you know, the scenario in which way you play this game. Claire! Where Chief Irons, like, sure. mutates. You're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. You okay, Sherry? Nothing else in here, is there? Aha! What? A hidden passageway in Raccoon City? Hail to the Chief. I should have probably done this with the, uh other piece of uh, diary that we picked up, but if you want to read files, just pause the screen. Have a read, come back to it. Elevator, it appears to go down. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Wish me luck, Sherry. I feel I've just spelled my own fucking doom. I've put away a machine gun, and we're heading down into the abyss. I hope to Christ we aren't wandering into a boss fight. Have I done the wrong thing? Ah! Help me! Ah! That is William Birkin! Chief Irons? has been fucked up. I can see you, William. Peeping at me through your bicep like that. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Little Dan, you old fuck. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Walking around like me when I've had too much drink. He's the genius behind the project. William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? Sherry Birkin. In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. The ultimate bio-weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. You can try, you fuck. <sighs> What's wrong? A little bit of heartburn? Can't take the pain. You're gonna fall down that trapdoor and mutate, you fuck? Yeah, split him in half. Fuck him. I hope it hurt, you fuck. Look, I can walk right through him. Can I pick up his gun? Would have been handy if I could have picked up his gun. Huh? Oh, there are some acid rounds. We've got a couple of these banked up in storage, so it's good to, uh, continue to find some. We're gonna need them later, trust me. Anything else? Formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals. As well as an alligator. Looks like we're just going straight down.
There it is. That little thing that fucking popped out of irons is mutating into a fucking beast. I knew I should have kept my grenade launcher. I'm gonna have to bust out the crossbow and hope for the best. You're an ugly motherfucker. Get off me, please. I didn't bring any heals with me. You're too slow, mate. Oh, you're fucking kidding. These things are going to kill me. I can jumped inside me like he was Bill Cosby the bastard. Go for round two, you ugly fuck. I've come prepared this time. Brought my friend the grenade launcher. Oh, are you dead? <laughs> Fuck, it was that simple, huh? Six grenade rounds to kill the bastard. Probably should have brought some heals with me, but I didn't. Oh, fuck. Of course I've left Sherry behind. See? Proof in the pudding. Once, every video, I make myself look like a fucking idiot. Chief Irons deserved a lot fucking worse than getting split in half by a little fucking mutant monster thing, that's for damn sure. I mean, not only did he murder the, uh, the mayor's daughter, which we saw earlier in this series, but there are files that we have found so far in this game that lead to, you know, discovering that he was under investigation for murder and rape and assault, and it's a dark, slippery fucking slope with that bastard. Of course I came back. I said I would. I believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry. I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! Let's go, Sherry. With my ass in caution, we're going down into the sewers. I live on the edge, baby. Welcome to the danger zone. I don't know whether having Sherry with us is going to be a burden or not. I definitely think it'd be hard to survive a zombie apocalypse with a young child following you on your hip.
Oh, hello, William. Daddy dearest. I'm in fucking trouble. Of course there's a fucking trap door. Alright, Sherry. This soundtrack, though, holy fuck. Get the fuck out of me, you bastard. There are grenade rounds up there. Of course, it's out of reach. Handy, I can fit in small spaces, though. Ow! Will you fucking get off me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, hello, wolf metal. Of course. Oh, hello, Papa. That didn't sound good. I'm coming, Sherry. We should probably start stocking up on some blue herb. If you've never played Resident Evil before, blue herbs are essential for healing poison status, and if they're offering blue herbs to us at this point in time, that's a little bit of foreshadowing. Speaking of, though, I'm pretty sure I've got a green herb. In storage. Beautiful. We're going to put... Should I keep the grenade launcher or should I put it away? I'm going to put it away. I hope putting that grenade launcher away isn't going to come back to bite me in the asshole. Hello, map. Ah, this is where it began. This is the location where William Birkin took out all of Hunk's men. Oh, hello, big boy. I don't think we should be coming this way yet because we need the wolf metal to unlock a door through this side. I forgot spiders were in this game. You know what? I feel the biggest crime for the Resident Evil 2 remake, as brilliant as that game was, was taking the spiders out of circulation. They are terrifying as all fuck. Hello, Annette. Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? No, nope, that's Ada. Ask. You're here to steal my husband's G virus, aren't you? Nope. You are tenacious. 
wishes, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. We knew that already, bitch. But you're about to find out what I just alluded to about him taking out Hunk's men. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Doctor, you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. Too bad he still had a sample in his hand. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay That here. bullet wound? In a whole clip empty him to him, Annette. Fucking hell. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? Keep himself alive. The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there. Shoot! Eat this, you freak! The guns are stopping it! What is this thing? Hurry! What, what is this thing? So those rats <coughs> were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? There is infected. The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. Ah! It's Sherry. You go that way. Get out of here, bitch. I'll go this way. Valve handle. Great. Don't even have the fucking valve handle. Thank you. Find these bad boys. Now, can we use the valve to return? Because I feel that's the next step. 
and I want to preemptively prepare myself. Behind door number one, Alex. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Do you see it? It's right fucking there. It's right next to Sherry. I forgot you were down here, you big fuck. However... Boom! You silly bastard, you don't pick up a fucking canister and put it in your mouth. I haven't roasted alligator today, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, wake up, Sherry. Yep. He's been infected. My stomach. It hurts. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to end the episode down here in the in the trash. There he's going to Hold her hand out. Hold her hand out for. What are you, what are you doing? Silly bitch. Oh, she wants to hold my hand. There we go. If you did enjoy today's episode, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. If you've missed any episodes, there is a playlist linked in the description. Be sure to hit that notification bell before you leave so you get notified every single time something brand new hits the channel. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time. Hit subscribe, you bastard.